Yeah, so let's show you what we're seeing right now from our vantage point. Again, we're just here off of Del Mar uh, and Oceanfront. So the, for those of you familiar with this little uh, hillside here where a lot of people like to gather and watch the sunset, well, you can point down there towards that staircase. You could see the crane that's, again, overhead. And then as we start to pan down, you can see what appears to be like one of those canopies that you would see at maybe an event in which San Diego lifeguards are at. Well, that's actually being used right now to protect uh, where this man is trapped from any excess rain during the time in which it was raining. But also now, of course, a lot of the waves that are crashing down on that area. Now they were concerned about that high tide time, which was peak about 522. But now fast forward uh, to this hour, what we're being told at the last check in with San Diego fire is that they are still communicating with that man, but they are still trying to rescue him. The latest update that we received this morning is that a cave rescue team from San Bernardino County is on their way here to again assist in this very complex but also dangerous rescue mission. As for what we know uh, about this, started sometime around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon when someone called in reports of someone screaming. What San Diego Fire Rescue and Lifeguards are telling us is that this man may have been trying to build some sort of shelter, slipped and fell, and then somehow uh, got stuck there in a hole in the cliffs. Now, what what makes this rescue so complex is just, again, uh, not only the, the waves crashing, Mother Nature, but just where that person is and how they can get to them. They've actually been suspended by their feet at certain times, trying to remove dirt for minutes at a time. Uh, it's a very small, condensed space, and it really makes it difficult not only uh, for their attempt to try to rescue this man, but also for their own safety. We did speak with San Diego Fire uh, as well as other rescue teams just yesterday. Here's a little bit about what they had to say about this. Again, why it is so complex. Right, we're down in the on the cliff side. We're scrambling over the rocks, underneath the rocks, uh, working in, in environments with very unstable footing, right? And we're and worried about the other rocks collapsing up on our rescuers. And again, you can see coming up here the staircase in our live video. One of those uh, rescuers. Uh, you can see just the the different gear that they have on there. The helmet again to protect themselves. Uh, another officer there walking down towards that San Diego Fire Rescue canvas and. Uh, we have not heard that they've made any particular progress, just that they are continuing to communicate with that man. So uh, we're still waiting to see exactly when that team from San Bernardino County will be arriving and just how, again, quickly they'll be able to set up and get things moving on their end and what kind of an impact that they will have. We're going to continue to be out here, of course, throughout however long this lasts to try to give you uh, the very best and most accurate updates. Eric Mehta, 